you know so with that always working you know like like spirit had me say earlier remember brothers you know we all have a certain load that the, that the father Yahweh Bashem Shai gave us some got a hundredfold some got sixtyfold some got thirtyfold take that talent that the, or those talents that the Lord gave you gave us and work with them you can't do a video a day that's all right do as many as you can but the point is to push the word out there the point is to work get involved stay in them trenches because the reward is coming and the, when the reward comes the hard work is going to be you're going to be we're going to be happy that we put in that hard work and that the Lord Yahweh Bashem El Shai gave us the inspiration and the energy and the mind to do that hard work to receive the benefit of the kingdom of heaven that penny so with that I pray that you know you brothers Shalom first and foremost I want to say call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakaq Kodash and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and I want to say peace and blessings be unto the old for elect okay so um, I want to do a, a lesson pretty much it's a testimony of my spiritual slump okay you know because for you know the, the past day or two you know I just felt like you know I didn't have it no more and what do I mean by that I mean that you know I wasn't able to do you know lessons you know I couldn't even read you know what I'm saying it's just like it's just like I just couldn't do it man you know and, and that's what I mean by a spiritual slump okay and that's and that's a scary feeling man you know, and I have the definition um, down here. You know, um, number two, it says a noticeable deterioration in performance or quality. You know, because a week back, you know, I was all into it. Okay, I was all into it. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, going to camp and everything. And I just felt like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I was on fire. Okay, then this week, you know, for the past day or two, you know, I just felt like, you know, I just felt... I didn't have no energy, all right? I have no motivation, man, and it felt scary, you know, because, you know, we get the inspiration from the Holy Spirit, you know, to put precepts together, okay, to, uh, you know, the, the, uh, you know, we get a topic, you know, and we put precepts together and then do a lesson, okay, through the Holy Spirit, but then, and I just wasn't able to do so, man, you know, it was, it was a scary feeling, man, because now, you know, I'm thinking, dang, I feel like the Lord don't, you know, rejected me, man, you know? But the Lord don't reject me. And then um pretty much when I was at work, man, you know, the Apostle Ram Love was doing that video that you seen at the beginning. Alright. I tuned in like at the last, you know, at the last, you know, portion of it. You know, where Elder Apostle Ram Love was pretty much, you know, kind of speaking exhortingly, if that's the word. You know, and that kind of uplifted me through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But the way I took it was, alright, the our Lord Yahweh Shah was speaking to me, man. And whoever else that that out that that applied to because I can say you know for myself that you know that applied to my situation that I was dealing with man you know pretty much you know the apostle said you know some he gave tenfold twentyfold so on and so forth you know and um you know what I'm saying and just do the best that you can with the portion that the Lord gave you man all right that was very comforting man because pretty much you know um I always tried to you know I always try to go, you know, further and beyond, so to speak, man. You know, because I'm nothing but, you know, a year and a half into this truth, you know. So what I was doing was, you know, I was trying to, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because you see, you know, brothers going to, going into these different topics, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know, break, you know, you know what I'm saying? Going into scriptures, and you feel like you can do, you know, that you can do more than what you're doing now, you know, and try to do as, you know what I'm saying, as much as, you know, these different brothers are doing, you know, to the point where you push yourself, all right, you know, you push yourself, you know, you know what I'm saying? You push yourself so much that, you know what I'm saying, you get, you know, uh, so to speak, spiritually, you know what I'm saying, dehydrated, so to speak, man, you know? But I say that to say because, you know, I've come, you know, I, I've learned a lot from, you know, what I was going through for the past one or two days, man, is that, you know, you know what I'm saying, the Lord is pretty much telling me to just chill, man, all right? Just chill and do do my you know do the best that I can, you no. Know, Cause again, I was trying to do you no know, more than you no. Know I'm saying I was trying to uh, you no. Know, 
know, bite, you know what I'm saying, bite more than I can chew, so to speak, man, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, but, um, because I, you know what I'm saying, I was trying to do, you know, again, above and beyond, okay, I'm going to read that definition for slumping again, it says, a noticeable deterioration in performance or, or quality, and that's how I felt, you know, I felt like, instead of, you know, growing, I was actually losing, man, I was losing, you know, all that, you know, I had learned, and I was losing, you know what I'm saying, because usually, Usually in a day, I put, you know, I come up with topics. No lie, man. I come up with topics, with a topic, you know, put a precept together, and then do a video on my lunch break or even when I come home. But just for some reason, I wasn't able to do it. You know, and that had me, you know, that had me thinking, man. You know, that had me, you know, scared, man. Because if, it, if it's if there's something that scared me the most, is it, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah taking his spirit off of me, man. Because we have examples in the scriptures where the Lord took his spirit off of certain individuals. And, and, you know, they just didn't have it no more, man, you know, and, you know, that, that, that's a scary situation, man, you know, and we just don't, you know, we just pray that it doesn't happen to us, man, okay, now, I just want to get the scriptures real quick, this is, um, let me get the first scripture that I got, this is, um, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20, it says, behold, I stand at the door and knock, you know, the door, you know, the door of your mind, okay, because again, an apostle, the Apostle Ram level saying that, you know, I pretty much took that took that as the Lord saying, you know, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna be okay. Just do the best that you can. Alright, because really what the Lord is looking looking for is that we're actually trying to do the work, man. You know, cause, cause you know what I'm saying, you got a lot of uh you no know, Jake out there, you know, faking the funk, so to speak, man. Alright, they got you know, they got the truth, you know they're Israelites, they know what to and what not to do, but they're playing with the Lord, man. All right, but the fact that we're trying, all right, we're trying to do the work to the best of our ability, and, we, and yeah, we and we, yeah, we going, you know what I'm saying, we going to stumble at times, you know. But the fact that we're going doing to the best of our ability, man, the Lord is looking for us, you know, trying, man. All right, He's looking for that effort, okay. And uh, not me myself, but you know, the rest of you brothers out there who may be going through the same situation, all right, or who's trying their best to, you know what I'm saying, who bet their best to do the work, all right. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. All right. And that's the Lord, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, opening your mind to, you know, the, you know what I'm saying? The truth, the scriptures, man. Okay. Because again, all right. During the slump period, the slump, the slump moment that I had, all right, I really learned a lot, you know, you know, from uh, cause I I did a lot of thinking, man. Cause it have it have you thinking, you know, sitting you know, in your room by yourself, just thinking, man. Like, all right, what am I doing wrong? What can I do better? Okay, especially watching brothers' videos, man. You know about growth, man. It's just like, what can I do better? What am I doing wrong? All right, and pretty much, you know, I learned from that is that, you know, to not, you know, I, I believe there's a scripture that says to not force the course of the river, you know, just let it flow, man. You know. So <clears throat> what I was doing was, you know, you know, I was just, you know, trying to uh, trying to do more than, you know, more than I can, so to speak, man. You know, and by doing that, you know, I think to myself that I can do it all the time. But then when the time comes where I'm not doing it, man, it'll make me feel, you know, it'll make me feel some type of way, man. And especially when brothers are doing videos. All right. You, you, you got, you know, you got brothers doing videos, you know, two, three. Four or five videos a day, man. It's like, dang, you know, how come I can't? You know what I'm saying? How come I can't do that? But then again, I understood that, you know, it's not about that, man. All right, it's about doing videos, you know, and doing it to to the edifying of others, man. You know, doing it to the edi doing it to the edifying of others because, you know, that's what we're doing this work for. We're doing this work to edify the body of Yahweh Shah. Okay. This is um. This is on First Thessalonians chapter five and verse nine, and it says, "For the Most High hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach." All right, and if we're part of the elect, man, you know, the Lord, you know, brings us through, you know, put us through 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 certain situations, you know, to build us up, you know, to 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 purify us, man, you know, because really, man, hey, the rest of this world, and you know, some, you know, what I'm saying, Jake, that Jake, Jake that's playing. You know, the world and Jake are who, who are not serious, who playing with the Lord. All right, the Lord 
pretty much, you know, letting them do what they do, man, because they are appointed to wrath, man. But for us, you know, to us that are, you know, hearing truth and sincerity, man, going through things, you know, and it looks like all, you know, all, all, you know, all odds are against us, so to speak. All right, and the Lord is pretty much, you know, building us up, man, because you got to remember the elect, or the elect men are, are being risen up to be kings and rulers, man. You see? So, the Lord is going to bring them through certain trials and tribulations to build them up, man. Whether it be financially, spiritually, or mentally, you know what I'm saying? Physically, man. You know, the Lord is building them up, you know, to, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? To be those future kings and rulers, man. You know? And that's one of many things that I was thinking to myself, you know, as, you know, I was going through this, man. Because once again, you know, when you're going through periods like that, you get certain demons, you know, messing with you. All right, saying you're not a man of the Lord or saying that the Lord has done left you or you ain't got the spirit of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? These different, just different demons messing with you, man. Then again, we got to understand, you know, that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, will, will you know, put, put brothers through certain, uh, certain situations, you know, to test and to build them up, man. A great example is Job, man, okay? It says, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with them. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. All right. And I want to say this too, is that, you know, the water Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for giving us elders and apostles. All right. To teach us this word, man. You see, because that video with Elder Apostle Ramlach did, man, pretty much was, uh, was hey, it was extremely edifying, man. Straight like that, man, because... You know, during that moment, you know, I was actually, you know, I was actually going through, you know, a spiritual slump, man. You know, but listening to that video, you know, the last portion of that video, and I'll go back to that video and watch it, Lord willing. You know, um, listening to to the last portion of that video, man, it uplifted my spirit. Okay, it uplifted my spirit, and you know, I was ready to do this video, but I was at work, you know, so I wasn't able to at the moment. But here I am doing it. But nonetheless, it uplifted my. It's like. You know, once I heard that, man, it's like I heard the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Because we know the Lord speaks to his prophets. So when I heard that, man, I pretty much heard the Lord telling me to just chill. It's going to be okay. you doing the best that you can. And that's all that matters, man. Okay? And that's as well as for you other brothers out there, you know what I'm saying, who's going through you know, the same thing, man. Hey, as long as you're doing the best that you can with the portion that the Lord gave you, you know, that's pretty much, you know, what the Lord is looking for, that, you, that you're trying to flip, you know, that talent, man. You know, but you know, you know, going back to what I was saying, man, you know, dealing with my situation, you know, I was trying to do more, you know, more, you know, more than the, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to go out my bounds, so to speak, you know, because once again, the Lord did give each individual, you know, different portions of the spirit, man, you know, because you know, you watch different brothers' videos, you know, and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to, you know, do what they do. All right, whether it be, you know, going on the highways and byways every day or right, doing five videos every day, you know, I just came to grips that maybe I, I don't have that portion, you know what I'm saying, to do that. I don't have the portion to do, you know, three or four videos every day, you know. So when I, so when I, you know, when I was thinking like that, man, I was thinking like, dang, I haven't, I didn't do three videos today. Dang, I'm tripping, you know, and that, that would bring me down, man. But at the end of the day, you know, what matters is that, you know what I'm saying, what matters is that, you know, I'm doing the best that I can with the portion that the Lord gave me, all right, and that my videos are edifying. So that's another thing, you know, that I'm going to admit that I was doing was, you know, when I would do one, two, three videos, you know, I was doing videos because, you know, I was doing videos because, you know, I wanted to get it done, man. But now, you know, I learned something, too, is that, you know, when I do videos, man, I want to make sure that it's edifying. All right, when I bring, you know, scriptures, I want to make sure that it's edifying. You know, to the body of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? That's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't... That's why I don't do, uh, you know what I'm saying? Three videos a day. You know, it's all according to the Holy Spirit. But when I do videos now, you know, I just want to make sure that it's edifying. You know, when somebody watch my video... You know, because I was watching... I forget who I was watching. Pretty much, I was watching somebody. And then, you know, he pretty much said that uh, when, when we do the videos, you know... When we do lessons, you know, we're doing it to, you know, we want to make sure that the person that watch it is edified by it. Like, what did he, what did they learn after watching my video? And that's what I'm, that's what I'm pushing forward to, 
you know, through the Spare and Power Y'all by Shim Yon Shah, you know, when an individual watch my videos, you know, uh, what did they learn from it, okay? This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6, you say, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth, okay? So us going through these, you know, you know these uh, tribulations, whether, again, whether it be in the spirit or physically, that's the Lord chastising us as sons, man, okay? And that's another thing that I learned, man, is that, you know, we might be going through different things. You know, I myself, you know, go through different things, you know, in my personal life. But, you know, I understand that, that hey, that's the Lord, you know, uh, you know, chastising me, man. As well as your other brothers that go through personal things, man. And, and, and that's something that we should rejoice over, is that the Lord is actually, you know, that means that the Lord cares for us, man. God, right, when we go through different things, that's the Lord caring for us, man. All right, because what happens when... Your son, when your son do something that you told him not to do, all right, and your father don't you know chastise him, all right, he's gonna keep doing it and doing it until he destroys himself, man. So at the end of the day, you know, uh, uh, without discipline, man, all right, that'll lead to uh, one's destruction, okay. So when the Lord, you know, chastises, you know, chastises us as sons, man, that's him disciplining us, you know, that's him disciplining us, and we learn from that. So we, so we, so we will walk the right path, okay? If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you, as with sons. For what son is he? Is he whom the Father chasteneth not? All right. And you got a lot of guys in Israel, all right. And I'm not gonna say names, of course, but you got a lot of guys in Israel doing no, doing their own will, so to speak, man. All right, because pretty much the Lord ain't chastising them, man. They ain't going through what the sincere brethren are going through, all right? Because at the end of the day, they're being reserved. For that judgment, man. You know, that's why, you no, know, you no. Know, um, I was reflecting on our what was happening, and pretty much, you know, um, I was reflecting on what was going on, you know, you know, within the within you know, my spirit, and pretty much, I was thinking, all right, hey, the Lord wants me to find something out within myself, man. Okay, if you endure chastening, the Most High deals with you. As with sons, for what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So again, those of our those of you know you you brothers out there, you know that goes through that go through certain uh tribulations. Hey, that's the Most High chastising you, all right, as sons, man. And that's something to rejoice over, man. Okay, but if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Further furthermore, we have had fathers fathers of our flesh. Which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to the Father of Spirits and live? You know, and that's pretty much it, man. Okay. So we, hey, hey, this has been the spiritual slump, man. Hey, we all go through the spiritual slump, but it's what we learn from it, man. Because I can attest that, you know, I've learned something from uh, my spiritual low, man. Okay. And that one, that thing that I learned was, you know, to do the best that I can. You no, know, and I'm and I'm not gonna use that as a, you know, as an excuse to, you know, uh, no, you know what I'm saying, not do, no, not not push as the best that I can, but, you know, um, you know, there's certain times, you know, whenever the spirit hits you to do a to do a lesson, you know, I go and do the lesson, man, you know, but um, you know, whenever you know, I'm, I, whenever it's not, man, I just be sitting back and watching brothers' videos, listening to brothers' videos and. Lord willing, I get a topic off of it, man. Lord willing, I get something out of it. You know, like I said, you no. Know, same thing. I, you know, when I do my videos, I want to do it unto edifying. So, so when the person that watched the video learns something from it, you know. So that was pretty much it, man. Lord willing, to edifying. You know, to the hopeful elect, we all by Shem I want to end off by giving all praises to you. How by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem and the honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Until next time, I see y'all the one.